Hi there. Now for this question, we are asked to solve this trigonometric equation, giving our answers for theta in this range, greater than or equal to zero, but less than pi. And we're working in radians. And as you can see, the answers, there's three of them, are ninth pi or pi over nine, four pi over nine or four ninths pi, and here seven pi over nine or seven ninths pi. Now, if there were any problems, I'll just take you through this. I'm assuming that you are fairly familiar with solving trigonometric equations and the quadrant rule. If not, do go back on my website and check out the tutorials on this. But essentially, when we've got a trigonometric equation like this, we can see that it's got the same angle, 3 theta, so that's good. But we've got different trigonometric functions here. And it's important then that we try and get this into the same trigonometric function. And I can easily do that knowing that sine of an angle divided by cosine of an angle has to be the same angle, gives us the tangent of that angle. So if I was to divide each of these three terms by cosine 3 theta, as you can see here, then I would get tan 3 theta for this term here. The cosine 3 thetas cancel out, just leaving me with minus root 3. And then obviously 0 divided by cosine of 3 theta is 0. And you can see that I've then gone on to add root 3 to both sides. So we've got tan 3 theta equals root 3. Next, I need to take the inverse tan to both sides. So that gives me 3 theta equals the inverse tan of root 3. And at this point, we need to think about what our new range is going to be because we're dealing with 3 theta, not theta. So I need to multiply 0, theta and pi by 3, as you can see I've done here. So this gives me my new range. And then I come to the quadrant diagram where we're turning anti-clockwise for positive angles. Okay, And we know that we're dealing with the tan of an angle, 3 theta, being a positive value, root 3. So tan is positive in the first quadrant and the third quadrant. So you draw two lines then equally inclined to the horizontal here. You can see I've marked them in blue like this. And then we start from 0, turn anticlockwise to the first blue line here, mark it in as 3 theta. Start again from the horizontal here and turn anticlockwise till you get to the next blue line. Mark that in as 3 theta. So when you take the inverse tan of root 3 on your calculator, make sure you're in radians mode. If not, if you're in degrees mode, you'll get 60 degrees. But in radians, you should find it's pi upon 3 radians, a third pi. Okay, the equivalent of 60 degrees. So we mark in that this first angle here, the equivalent of the red 3 theta, is pi upon 3 radians. I can now pick up on this when we go to the third quadrant, because this little angle in here is pi upon 3 radians. So to get the green 3 theta, I'm going to go half a turn, that's pi radians, plus a further then pi upon 3 radians. And that gives us 4 thirds pi. Next, I want to check to see what other solutions I can get. So I start from here, go anti-clockwise all the way around until I come back to the blue line again. So that's going to be a full turn of 2 pi radians plus a further pi upon 3 radians. So 2 pi plus a third pi gives us 7 thirds pi. Okay. And you can see that if I go from here again and turn anti-clockwise, that's 2 pi radians, and carry on around till we get to the blue line here, that's going to be 2 pi plus a further 4 thirds pi. And that's going to come to 10 thirds pi. That is out of range. That's 3 and a third pi, greater than 3 pi. Okay? So we've only got these three solutions here. Now we divide by 3, and that gives us our 3 
required answers. Okay, a ninth pi, four ninths pi, and seven ninths pi. So I hope that's given you some idea then on how to do that particular question.